Hello Year 5, nice to see you. I'm sure I am just who you want to see on your days off when you're just relaxing at home. Hopefully you are doing some work. I am here to make sure of that. <laughs> okay, now I've got a bit of a fun investigation for us today. It's a multiplication activity. Now, I have got a target number and the target number is 7144, okay? Your target, your objective is to hit my number with your answer, okay? But there is a rule. You are only allowed to use two two-digit numbers to multiply together to try and hit my target. Okay, so for example, I use a very basic one. If I did 10 times 10, I would get 100. Okay, now I know that's miles away from the answer that I'm looking for, but that's just an example. But that's interesting because this is what I'm wanting you to explore. At this point, when we get an answer, so for example, I've got a very bad answer, I've got 100, I'm going to evaluate my result that I got and then analyse my question so that I get something a lot closer next time, okay? There's no point just doing random questions in order to try and get to my target. We're going to look at the answer I got in, in my previous one and adjust my next one accordingly, okay? So for example, I got 100, that's so far away that I'm, next, I'm now going to choose 99 times 99 for my next one, okay? They're the sort of two ultimate ends that I could do, okay? So, you have only six chances to try and get as close to my target as possible. If you hit it, go ding, you get yourself a prize. No, you don't, but you could do. Bit of pride, okay? But you only have six chances, okay? Now, when you've done that, then you get to do something yourself. You get to create your own five-digit number. So it could be anything. It could be one, two, three, four, five, 12,345, okay? Could be that. Could be anything you want, okay? And then you get to set your own rules for the investigation. Do you want it to just be a two-digit number multiplied by a two-digit number? Do you want it to be a three-digit number multiplied by a two-digit number? What do you want it to be? That's your objective. And then, again, you only get six chances to try and hit it. But you can use a combination of people around you. If you want to ask your parents or ask your brothers or sisters to have a go, use up one of your lives, you can. That's the idea. Get a bit of fun in there, okay? So I'll go through it again. The first part, you have got to hit my target number of 7,144 using two two-digit numbers, okay? The trick is going to be your first one. You want to try and get as close to it as possible to your first one in order to hone in to get to the right answer, okay? So think really carefully about your first question that you write. Uh, after that, then you're going to produce your own five-digit number and ask people around you to help you try and hit it, okay? With either a three-digit number multiplied by a two-digit number whatever constraints of the investigation you want to have. Now I'm going to go through one example of what a two-digit number multiplied by a two-digit number looks like so that we don't get any mistakes in that because that would be fatal, okay? Okay, so let's have a look at one together. Let's have a look at 25 multiplied by 32. Now it's really important that we lay this out in the correct columns, so I like to put our titles of our columns in place. So we've got units and tens here, okay? So 25, two tens, five units, 32, three tens, two units. I've got it all laid out perfectly. Good. Now, what are we doing first? Well, we're going to multiply the 25 on the top row, and I'm going to partition my bottom row, okay? So I'm going to have two lines of answer here, partition, and I'm going to add them together at the end, okay? So my first line is going to be 25 times 2, and my second line is going to be 25 times 30, okay? So that's really important to understand what we're doing at the time. Let's do the first line together, 25 times 2. Now, I don't even like doing that. Let's break it down even further. Let's multiply our units first of all. 2 times 5 is 10. So I'm going to write it as if I would write it in any other column method. Put my 1 into my 10s column, ready for the 10s answer, and put my 0 in, in the units. Now let's multiply our unit by a 10. 2 times 2 is 4. Put the 1 back is 5. 50. Okay, and we can check that because we know 2 times 25 is 50. We could have just done that, but it's good to go through the right method. Now let's do our next row, we're going to be multiplying 25 times 30, okay? But again, let's break it down even further and do it nice and simply. Now it is a 30 there, but we don't want to multiply by 30. Let's multiply by 3 by making our answer 10 times larger by putting that placeholder in place, okay? So I'm putting my placeholder there so that I can look at that 3 as just a 3 and not the 30 that it is, okay? So now, 3 times 5 is 15, put that in place, 1 goes into that hundreds column now, 5 in the tens column, fantastic. 3 times 2 is 6. Add the 1 that's in already in the hundreds column is a 7. Now I've got my answer. Am I finished? 
No, I need to add it together because I've partitioned it, I've broken it apart to do it, now I've got to put it back together to get my final answer. So let's look in the units column, 0, 0 equals 0 obviously. In the tens column, 5 out of 5 is 10. Put the 10 across into the hundreds column and the 0 in there. Then add the hundreds column, 7 plus the one we've just added, 8. The answer is 800. Okay, nice and simple. So your challenge is to use this method to get as close to my target number as possible. Have loads of fun with it, explore, be creative, analyse your results really well, and good luck. Check out the link below for a description of what to do if you couldn't quite follow these instructions. There is an example on there as well. Good luck, enjoy it, try and be as neat and organised as possible. Enjoy!